make a fire-breathing dragon. This is my fire-breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire-breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this, any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers. Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color. You can cut some paper out. You can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm gonna put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this. You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms. Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewels. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least with my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Yummy, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my jewels more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, nom, nom.